little bit of pressure and then keep adding pressure as you need it and then and keep it in gear. Okay. A lot of times I see people act it to respond and then they let go and that's not going to really work it so much. It's like ahead. they're going, they see us coming out, they're going okay. over a little bit inside. So go ahead and hold the joystick in the middle and let's move over to the right a little bit. So keep it there, just hold pressure. Hold it and then twist it to the left while you're holding it overwards. So you're going to want to let it settle back down. So keep it in gear. So instead of twisting and releasing, hold it and keep it in gear. So push it to the left and hold it right there. Now, as you're holding to the left, give it a little twist to the left. All in one motion. Perfect. And then add some more twists to the left as you're doing that. A little bit more twist. So it doesn't stay in gear unless you're so you have to moving the, the joystick. Right, you have to keep the pressure on it. And then when you let go to do another option, I like to let it settle back down into a neutral. Because you can hear them clicking and clanking and kind of hurts your heart a little bit. <laughs> And that will get, that will eliminate a lot of that in gear, out of gear, in gear, out of gear. Just to keep the pressure and add more energy you need it. Come back and let it settle. Yeah, because it is jerky, isn't it? Mm -hmm. no, that's just something you'll get that's used to. That's how big though. they are. They're very, yeah, they're responsive. And it does take about a half a second for the command to actually respond. Mm -hmm. So you know what you want to do, and then it's coming down to your hand. And then when you ask it to do it, that's where I see a lot of mistakes happen because it's just not happening fast enough. Mm -hmm. Your brain, you already know what you want to do. So they let go and then they're clanking and clanking. There's a, so, a fine art to it. Yeah, so when I get here, I could turn it off if I wanted to. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can either come out of the joystick mode by hitting the joystick button, or you can go straight into gear, whatever's this. easier for you. I like to come out of the joystick mode because then I know my engines are straight. It will automatically straighten your engines. So you like to push the joystick button to come out? I do. Okay, got it. Normally, if I'm coming out of joystick, it's because I want to use my split throttles, mm -hmm. and it responds the best when your when your engines are straight. Okay. So the uh, seat keeper is not turned on right now, is it? Correct. So Seat Keeper actually recommends that you do not use it while you are running. I thought it was turned on. The blue turned, light. Turned on, but not activated. Oh, how do you know it's not activated? Go ahead and hit the bottom button. This? Correct. So that is off. Okay. When it's lit up blue, it's on. So we didn't want it on. Correct. Okay, got it. You don't want to have, you only want that on when you're so the sitting seat still. was on. It was, it was on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, got activated. it. Okay. On is the power, activated is the blue light is lit up. Correct. Okay. It sure does drive smooth. Does it? Yeah, I can already tell the difference. It's more reactive. My boat wasn't as reactive. Your old boat. <laughs> this is your boat. My boat's the one. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, we even named, we're naming it after her. <laughs> yep. Do you have somebody doing your decals already? We're not going to. We're do not going to put names on, on okay. it. Every time we put decals on my boat, and uh, every time we 